Hey friends, Drew here with Cope Construction and Renovation with your plumbing tip of the day. If you've got an old fitting that's you know stuck in a wall, maybe under a sink where it used to go into the wall that you, it's too short to do something with, or you gotta take it out and change it or whatever. Some people are really afraid they gotta rip the whole wall open uh, in order to be able to get that fitting out to cut out the pipe to put new fittings in. I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that we do from time to time here at Cope Construction when we get into something where we need to change a piece of glued PVC. Check this out, this might help you with something. Grab your heat gun. If you've got a, a paint stripping heat gun, and set it on the low setting, and we can heat all around this elbow. So here what we've got is, uh, this is an old uh, takeoff, an old drain line for where the sink used to be. We were able to move the sink to the new location, uh, but we weren't sure where the washer and dryer was going initially, so we didn't want to take this out at the start. Uh, and then the decision just didn't get made until down the line. No, we really don't need this after all. So we're kind of at the end of things here. We're gonna take our heat gun. We've heated up the, uh, the different sides of this. And now that we've got that all heated up, we're actually able to twist and work and play this back and forth. And sometimes you get a little screwdriver here and loosen things up. And then you're actually able to get that where it comes apart. Nice and clean and easy. And now what we can do is we can put another fitting in here, another elbow, whatever we wanna do. And, uh, and tee this off. So what I might do is just cut this cap off of here and glue that back in. And then if at any point in the future we need to add something, add an elbow, do something else later, uh, get to this as a clean out, then we have the option to cut the cap off, put a clean out in, glue an extension on, whatever we might need to do. Uh, but it's just a simple matter of using the heat gun. Now you gotta use it on a low setting and really wanna take your time. And so since this is the part that we're removing, this is the part that I'm gonna focus on heating up. We do warm this ring just a little bit. Uh, but the goal is really to uh, to get this part warm and then start to work it out so we don't wind up deforming these. Every once in a while, this doesn't work the way I want it to, but nine times out of 10, we're able to get these out. Um, sometimes I find it easier if I cut this so that I can get the heat down inside and then maybe I, I can get a screwdriver or a razor knife and I can start working to get one edge of this and then I just kind of grab a pair of those pliers and roll it all the way around until I pull it off the glue. There are a couple different techniques that you can try uh, but there is possible. There's actually special uh, heat gun plumbing tools that you can put, if you cut it off, that you can put inside, and it will specifically heat that. Uh, and those are fairly costly to purchase, so if you don't have one of those, but you do have a paint stripping heat gun, uh, and you want to try this yourself, it's something you can do. What's the worst case scenario? Well, the worst case scenario is I completely mess this up, and I still have to come back, cut this off, cut this off, you know, section in a new section of pipe, which is what I would have had to do anyway. So I might as well try saving myself a little bit of time with the heat gun and extracting that old fitting so that I can put a new fitting in. If there's something that we can help you with at your home, uh, I wanna invite you to check out our uh, Coat Built DIY group, where if you have questions, we'll be happy to answer those for you. Uh, just click on the groups or the community tab here on our Facebook page, and you can get into that group and, and post your home improvement questions there, especially if you're a handy person, you're doing stuff yourself. We'd be happy to help point you in the right direction if you've got questions. So join us in that group, and we look forward to serving you soon. This is Drew on a cute little plumbing job saying if there's something we can help you with, give us a call, 484-748-0008. Choose option two for COPE construction and renovation, extension two for new projects. And we look forward to serving you folks very, very soon. You can also message us here through our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash copebuilt. Hit us up on Messenger. Our office staff is available 9.30 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon weekdays. And we return all calls and messages usually within one business day, oftentimes a lot faster. So this is Drew. Remember, it's not just done. It's Coat Built. We'll catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.